Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of March 1, 2021. I only have two topics today, but the two topics are actually disguised into more topics. Uh, I want to talk about eVTOL, electronic VTOL. And there was a lot of uh, brouhaha this week about electronic VTOL aircraft that are making the news. So I want to talk about this. And I want to talk about the uh, Boeing 70, 737 MAX. I want to give you guys an update. <music> The first one that I want to talk about is Joby Aviation, and Joby Aviation has been around for a while. They have an electronic VTOL aircraft. Now, if you've never seen electronic VTOL aircraft, this is what we call air taxi aircraft, or, or ur urban air mobility is the, the new name for it. And uh, Joby Aviation is one of the leader in this. They're based in California. And it released a, a very rare flight video that, that doesn't happen very often. We don't see these uh, these aircraft flying very often. But uh, that that aircraft that they're showing has uh, uh, several electric motors, as you can see in the video here. And uh, they can carry f uh, five passengers for 150 miles at speeds up to 200 miles an hour. And you may say, well, what's the big deal with these things? Well, the big deal is that these are going to be um, eventually autonomous aircraft that are going to be flying. Now there's not really going to be a pilot on board of the aircraft, you're just going to be uh, taking this kind of like uh, imagine a, a driverless Uber in the sky. And uh, speaking of Uber, uh, Joby actually purchased uh, Uber Elevate which was the the section of Uber that was designed for uh, UTM, for, I'm sorry for not UTM, UAM, an urban air mobility. And, uh, and Joby recently partnered with a company called reInvent Technology Partners, and they're hoping with this that they can actually take flight literally in 2024 and start offering these flights for commercial purposes. So uh, this, this is a really exciting part of the industry, uh, the aviation industry, because it's, it's growing very quickly and it's, it's like right there at its, at its uh, infancy. I, I love the UAS world. I love the flight training world. I love aviation in general, but the UAS world is cool because it's still fairly new and it's still growing very quickly. The UAM is even, even newer and growing even more quickly, I think. So uh, this uh, will have a lot of information about these in the future. The uh, aircraft in the video you can see is a, is a VTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It takes off and then it has the ability to move forward uh, by just changing the pitch of the, uh, the propeller. So that's, that's a really cool design. And um, speaking of you know, unmanned aircraft, we have Boeing. Boeing creates the, the it's called the Loyal Wingman. And this is some, a project that's going on in Australia right now with uh, Boeing Australia and with the Royal Air Force in Australia. And uh, they're basically designing a wingman that's going to be an unmanned aircraft that has the ability to carry sensors, to carry, uh, to do re reconnaissance, to do, uh, to do all kinds of uh, intelligence, surveillance, all kinds of different things to help a manned aircraft pilot that is flying, you know, a, a fighter jet. So this is really cool. This is a really cool concept. This thing can go 2,000 nautical miles and uh, and basically help the pilot as they fly. So I thought that was a really cool concept uh, coming out of Australia and with Boeing. And then the last one in the EV tall world is Kitty Hawk. This company is partnering with a company called Falk. And Falk is a healthcare company provider. And they announced that they're working with Kitty Hawk to provide um, an EV tall aircraft that's going to be capable of taking off and providing some sort of air ambulance service. So imagine having an aircraft, you're you need air ambulance and there's traffic everywhere, you're in a very congested area, then they can send one of these pseudo helicopter and basically just carry you and take you back to the hospital. And this is really where I see a lot of eVTOL application that are really gonna change the way that we as human uh, kind of op operate because these services are gonna be available where uh, they can be available at the moment. So even in rural areas where you need to have quick service, they can actually send someone out there instead of having to send you know, a car or truck or or something to come get you. So that's really cool. Uh, they have a range of 100 miles. They can go 180 miles an hour. The noise level is really low at 35 decibels, which is, you know, about a regular helicopter from altitude is about 65 to 70 uh, decibels. This is half of that, which is really cool. 
Uh, they have 13 prototypes right now and they've done over 700 practice flights. So uh, this is something that they're actively working to bring to the, uh, the community, which is really cool. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is the Boeing 737 MAX update. You've all heard the, uh, the MAX story and uh, being taken offline and having to be recertified. Uh, United Airlines just announced that they are ordering 25 of them uh, to add to their fleet. That's gonna make their fleet 180 at this stage, which is really cool. Um, China hasn't really approved the, the, the MAX to get back into service at the moment. They're basically saying that they're still reviewing everything and that they're going to enter the test flight phase eventually. So. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. Uh, trying to keep it a, a little bit shorter than usual, and uh, I will see you next week.